Melissa, the only reason I didn't kill myself after your father left was you kids. My mother tucks her hair behind her ear and takes my hand. It's all right, she lies. I'm better now, she lies. I would never leave you. The truth is termites in the walls of our house. The mice in the basement, the mulberry tree, our landlord cut down. The truth is, I have only ever seen her reflected in the edges of knives, or drawn as a sketch in pill bottle and noose. She has already been a ghost. For so long, I have abandoned every bedtime story. Every kiss on every skinned knee, every fragment of love lost at sea. The truth is, my worst fear has never been her death, but my inheritance. The sea waiting for my drowning, the money like kindling, and the rent past due on the house I told people we didn't live in, we are living now. In the wreckage of that home, the roof is gone, and the storm is moving over us still, and she is standing in the doorway. Letting in the rain, I have to try to hold that storm back with my bare hands. And when I do, the skin comes off like a glove I've been wearing my whole life. And there they are. Not blood or sinew, but my mother's hands. In sight of mine the whole time. Here is how hard she tried to shut the door. Here I am, only the mouse trap. The termite queen, the stump of our tree ringed with drought, more complex than blame, so selfish to think myself the only one who has borne the weight of it. But when the fist of the hurricane comes to tear your home to kindling, it is not because of anything anyone has done. The storm cares for no one. Will spin on no matter what you do. Here is the wreckage we were both born to. Here I am waking up in what is left of our home. But I think I hear someone else in here. I think I hear my mother calling my name.